All right, I know it's been a while, but we're going to do a video. This time it's more of a review how-to. Um, it's how to remove a hard drive from a PlayStation and turn it into a portable hard drive. Uh, here's the broken PlayStation. This, I got the yellow light of death not too long ago. Um, I had a game stuck in there, had to take it apart and get it out of there. Here's where the hard drive goes. Already replaced it with another one right there. And then I thought, well, you know, I put this 160 gig hard drive into this PlayStation. This is one of the originals. This is a 20 gig. So I put a larger hard drive in it, and I didn't want to lose that hard drive. You know, I paid for it. I wanted it to do something. So uh, I thought, you know, why don't we turn it into a portable hard drive? So the people at Mac Ally sent me their PHR S250 UAB, and that's what it looks like. Portable hard drive that's got FireWire as well as USB. There's all the ports right there for you. Now, I did this already to make sure, you know, I can't wait. As all of you probably, when you get new toys, you want to play with them. And uh, I accidentally stripped one of the screws. This is my fault. It has nothing to do with the, with the manufacturer. I accidentally stripped one of the screws, and now I can't get it back apart to put it back together for you, so I'm kind of kind of I'm sure everybody can figure this out but I'm going to show you the step by step without actually doing it cuz I well screwed up. So this is the casing that the hard drive actually goes into. This is the hard drive here. This is the 160 gig. The hard drive sits in here in in this little cage right here and goes into the PlayStation. I'm sure everybody's taken the hard drive out of their PlayStation before. It locks in there and everything. So what you need to do is you take this little door out. This is the older models too, so it's a little bit different for everybody else that has the new ones. You take this door off, you pull this little, there's a little handle, pull it out, and then out. And then there will be screws in four different locations uh, along the bottom so you can get it out. Uh, actually along the side, pardon me. There's one, two, three, and four. And then you, the hard drive becomes free. The hard drive will come out of the cage. And then really you don't need the PlayStation anymore. So we'll get rid of it. So then you get your uh, Mac Ally enclosure. And what's nice about this one is it's FireWire and uh, all of that. So it comes in a couple pieces. Disregard the hard drive, which is nested in there now because of the screw. So you got this bottom part, which is all the circuitry. You actually push the hard drive. There's where you make your connection right here. You put it into the uh, connection. And that's how your hard drive sits in there nested. And then you screw it in. All right, so let's go ahead and... I'm going to put the rest of these screws in there. Alright, so now those screws are in there. That is together. This is one piece. This is really, really easy to do. It's surprisingly easy to do. Uh, so there, as long as your hard drive wasn't compromised when your PlayStation broke, which, which mine wasn't, sometimes the yellow light of death can be involved with um, uh, some sort of hard drive failure, but I didn't lose my hard drive, so this was still good. Alright, um... Sorry, we have to switch cameras here. Um, no more tripod either, so I'm going to do my best here with one hand. I had a camera die on me, and I don't have a lot of time to charge it. All right, so uh, there, you know, I screwed this in. There's your four screws. Let that focus there for a second, maybe. I'm using a camera phone now. Uh, all right, so there's the bottom of your enclosure, your four screws right there. And there's the drive itself. The, probably you can see the connection a little bit better here now. There's the connection right there between those two parts. 160 gig hard drive that I pulled out of my PlayStation. Which again, I'm not very happy about having to do that, but um, you know, it's one of the original PlayStations, so I'm not overly. I mean, I'm upset, but um, it's it's not too terrible. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. There's uh there's rail. There's a rail right there. Back to what we were talking about, back to saving your hard drive. Uh, there's a rail right there. You can see that gap right there. And that meets up with the rail right there. The gap is right between those two. So, with your, with your uh, ports out, because the port cover is right there, uh, and your light, you got to make sure your light, which is right there, goes through the hole that it's meant for right there. So... We'll, uh, we'll actually do this with it on the ground, maybe. There we go. Possibly. There we go. 
All right, so that will just slide, and this, you know, just slides in. It's it's a very tight fit because it's supposed to be snug, so don't force it too much, but just know it is supposed to go, and it is supposed to be a little bit tight. So there we go. There's your hard drive in its enclosure. Okay, there's two more screws um, right there, and they're very tiny, tiny, tiny screws right there. Pardon the cat here. <laughs> um, so the last thing you do before you put those screws on is make sure your porthole and your actual ports line up. We will do that right there. So now it is on. And I'm not going to bother with the other screws. I mean, watching people unscrew and screw things into stuff is not much fun. So there's your hard drive. All right, so there it is. Your indicator light will light up. Here's some of the goodies you get. Unfortunately, one of the knocks I have on this is that it's not... I guess you can't say it's not. It's powered through the computer, but it requires another port, okay? So, or another plug, actually. So you'll have to actually plug two things into a computer at any time to access this. So this is just the power. You can't read and write from this. So um, that's one of the knocks. So this will actually go right there uh, into the DC outlet, all right? And then this just powers it, right? So that's that's one connection. Then you've got your Firewire 800, your 1394B, and that will go in here uh, into one of these slots. And then you've got your uh, your other Firewire um, connection. So you get you get one of everything. You've got your um, two Firewire connections right there. You've also everybody's got a thousand of these. If you have a PlayStation, you've got one of these. Uh, one of your USB uh, minis connections that you use to charge controllers. So that's another way. So it's USB 2.0, FireWire 800. It's the PHR S250 UAB. It's $59.99 uh, on MacAlly.com, and it's a good way to replace the hard drive from your PlayStation. It's a very, very easy do. Um, you kind of get some great gratification from it. The only other thing you have to do is, if this is coming out of your PlayStation, you'll have to format it. So uh, PC guys, you, you probably know how to format Mac guys, go to Disk Utility and uh, use Mac OS Journal Extended. That's at least what I pick. Uh, you can format it however you'd like, but you will need to format it. And none of your files will be readable. So if you're thinking that you can grab a, a game save off of this on from your computer, no, you, you cannot do that. Your files are uh, yeah, can't get to them. So um, I was able to reformat that drive, turn that into a portable hard drive, and now I have another place where I can back up family photos, family videos, and stuff like that. Anyway, check it out. It's uh, the hard drive enclosure. It's a uh, nice aluminum body, heat resistant. It's got this little rubber strip right here that says it's supposed to be shock resistant. I just don't recommend throwing it, dropping it, or putting it in water. Just trying to take care of it. It will take care of you. Uh, and it's all about the hard drive that you put in it, but the enclosure, very, very nice, very, very sturdy. Everything fits snug. Um, and it was an easy install. So that's how to replace your hard drive from your broken PlayStation to have new life as a portable hard drive. Thanks everybody been what? Thanks everybody for watching. You Thanks everybody for watching. This has been the Game and Gadget Grader. Sorry, we have to switch cameras here. Um, no more tripod either. So I'm going to do my best here with one hand. I had a camera die on me and I don't have a lot of time to charge it. All right, so uh, there you know, I screwed this in. There's your four screws. Let that focus there for a second. Maybe. I'm using a camera phone now. Uh, all right, so there's the bottom of your enclosure, your four screws right there. And there's the drive itself. With the, probably you can see the connection a little bit better here now. There's the connection right there between those two parts. 160 gig hard drive that I pulled out of my PlayStation. Which, again, I'm not very happy about having to do that, but... Um, you know, it's one of the original PlayStations, so I'm not overly, I mean, I'm upset, but, um, it's, it's not too terrible. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. There's, uh, there's rail, there's a rail right there, back to what we were talking about, back to saving your hard drive. Uh, there's a rail right there, you can see that gap right there, and that meets up with the rail right there, the gap is right between those two. So... With your with your uh, ports out because the port cover is right there, uh, and your light you got to make sure your light, which is right there, 
goes through the hole that it's meant for right there. So we'll uh, we'll actually do this with it on the ground. There we go. All right, so that will just slide, and this you know just slides in. It's it's a very tight fit because it's supposed to be snug. So don't force it too much, but just know it is supposed to go, and it is supposed to be a little bit tight. So there we go. There's your hard drive in its enclosure. Okay, there's two more screws um, right there, and they're very tiny, tiny, tiny screws right there. Pardon the cat here. <laughs> um, so the last thing you do before you put those screws on is make sure your porthole and your actual ports line up. We will do that right there. And I'm not going to bother with the other screws. I mean, watching people unscrew and screw things into stuff is not much fun. So there's your hard drive. All right, so there it is. Your indicator light will light up. Here's some of the goodies you get. Unfortunately, one of the knocks I have on this is that it's powered through the computer, but it requires another port, okay? So, or another plug, actually. So you'll have to actually plug two things into a computer at any time to access this. So this is just the power. You can't read and write from this. So um, that's one of the knocks. So this will actually go right there uh, into the DC outlet. All right, and then this just powers it, right? So that's that's one connection. Then you've got your FireWire 800, your 1394B, and that will go in here uh, into one of these slots. And then you've got your uh, your other FireWire um, connection. So you get you get one of everything. You've got your um, two FireWire connections right there. You've also everybody's got a thousand of these. If you have a PlayStation, you've got one of these. So it's USB 2.0. Firewire 800. It's the PHR S250 UAB. It's $59.99 uh, on MacAlly.com, and it's a good way to replace the hard drive from your PlayStation. It's a very, very easy do. Um, you kind of get some great gratification from it. The only other thing you have to do is if this is coming out of your PlayStation, you'll have to format it. So, uh, PC guys, you, you probably know how to format. Mac guys, go to Disk Utility. And uh, use Mac OS Journal Extended. That's at least what I pick. Uh, you can format it however you'd like, but you will need to format it. And none of your files will be readable. So if you're thinking that you can grab a, a game save off of this on from your computer, no, you, you cannot do that. Your files are uh, yeah, can't get to them. So um, I was able to reformat that drive, turn that into a portable hard drive, and now I have another place where I can back up family photos, family videos, and stuff like that. Anyway, check it out. It's uh, the hard drive enclosure. It's a uh, nice aluminum body, heat resistant. It's got this little rubber strip right here that says it's supposed to be shock resistant. I just don't recommend throwing it, dropping it, or putting it in water. Just try to take care of it. It will take care of you. Uh, and it's all about the hard drive that you put in it. But the enclosure, very, very nice, very, very sturdy. Everything fits snug. Um, and it was an easy install. So that's how to replace your hard drive from your broken PlayStation to... Have new life as a portable hard drive. Thanks everybody for watching. This has been the Game and Gadget Grader.